The crab walk exercise is something that I typically recommend to help deal with this problem. That is the dangly thumb. The thumb is awkward to use by comparison to the other fingers because the thumb has to play sideways. Okay. However, it is also really important to learn to use the thumb because it uh, facilitates us playing scales and all sorts of things. So we must try and work to get the thumb onto the keyboard. And when we do, you can see that what happens is that the other fingers curl over to allow it on, giving us a nice hand position. Okay, so let's have a look at how it works. So here's my problem. Here's my hand with a dangly thumb. Now, the first thing we do in crab walks is we pop the thumb onto the keyboard, we play a note. And in the 1-3-1-3 one, three, one, three exercise, we then switch to the third finger. Okay, what will probably happen is the thumb might fall off again. So let's yoink it back on again to the next note. Pop the finger three along and then keep bringing that thumb back on. Keep bringing it back on until actually what begins to happen is it just stays on all by itself and the hand scuttles up and down the keyboard like a crab. Remember, with all exercises, do the same on the left hand too. So here it is too, hopefully in time, you get this nice little scuttling movement as the hand wiggles along, all the fingers in play like this. Okay, so that was, like I said, that's the Crab Walks 1313 version. In Synthesia, you'll find the 1414 version too. So that is alternating between fingers one and four and the 151515 version. Okay, it works on the same principle, trying to keep the thumb on, developing those nice alternating relationships between the thumb and the other fingers. Now, it's not absolutely necessary to play the right notes with this either because it is, of course, a physical exercise. And what we can do is really uh, bend the rules a bit more. If you want to go freestyle, play with the thumb. Let's stretch up. Bring the thumb in. Stretch up. Thumb in. Stretch up. What we're doing here is we're expanding and contracting the hand, which is another really useful motion for playing arpeggios in many months or years time, okay? So that you can also do, you can develop the idea and really work these useful motions into your hands. So there we go, that's crab walks.